Seeing how we're running a most memorable gig contest, I thought I'd talk about a few of mine. The first one that I can recall is my very first gig. I was 13 years old and it was at a skating rink. I was in line to go skating, which I did a lot. And the owner called me aside and said, would you DJ tonight if the DJ didn't show? And I thought, wow, well, I don't know how to DJ. And she said, well, that's okay. My daughter will show you. So her 10-year-old daughter takes me into the DJ booth and shows me where the record players are, what the mixer is, what the crossfader does, where the volume knobs are, the mic button, the light buttons, and a pile of records. Have at it. That was it. I got thrown in cold. I had no idea I was going to be doing this. And it was my first gig, and I'll never forget it. And I pulled it off, oddly enough, and I worked there for several years. But when I really think about it, my most memorable gig wasn't even really my gig. But I was there, and I did DJ for a few minutes anyway. But it was a life-changing experience. I'll never forget it. A lot of things happened. I ran around with a small group of friends in high school, and there was a girl who was a friend of a friend who was the foreign exchange student from Bangkok, Thailand. And she was very traditional and conservative, and back in high school I was kind of wild. And we, we got along okay, but we weren't real pally back then. Well, our mutual friend talked me into taking her to our prom. I didn't really want to go, but she wanted to experience an American prom, so I thought, okay, fine, you know, I'll go. I was really worried about how she was going to dress, because she dressed very conservative for a Thai girl, and she wanted to, she's like a little diplomat, I guess, for, for America when she was here. But she showed up in this beautiful black dress, she just looked absolutely stunning. I, unfortunately, on the other hand, ended up in a bad tux because I was a little late in the game at the tuxedo rental shop. So we went to prom, and we ate dinner, and then she disappeared for a while. And then she reappeared wearing this traditional Thai dress that I didn't know she had with her. She was trying to surprise everyone. And she decided she was going to expose us to some culture at our prom and do a traditional Thai dance for everybody. And she said, well, I have a problem. I forgot the music that I was supposed to bring for this. I thought, well, okay. And then she started kind of humming a tune. And, and I thought, oh, okay, I, I thought of a couple of slow tunes that would work. I said, well, I think I know a couple of tunes that will work. Uh, just tell the DJ to, to play these songs. She says, no, no, no. You take care of that. Like, oh, great. So I walk up to the DJ, and I'm like, look. My prom date is from Bangkok, Thailand, and she's going to do a traditional Thai dance for everybody. You need to play this song. And when she throws the rose petals, that's when you can fade out, and it's over. And they looked at me like, what? I'm like, oh, great. I said, look, I know how to work this DJ equipment. I've done skating rinks and things before. This is a mixing board. These are turntables. I get it. If you want me to do it, I'd be happy to do it. Like, dude, it's all you. Have at it. So, there I was, standing on the stage at my prom with big PAR 64 light shining on me and light shining on her on the dance floor. And she's doing this solo dance that, unfortunately, nobody was interested in at the time. I mean, I think as adults they would have thought it was cool at the time. It was like, eh, what is she doing? I faded it out when she threw her rose petals. and I kind of hung my head and said, all right, guys, I... Sorry about that. Thanks a lot. You know, good job. Thanks for, you know, DJing our prom. So wait, 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 wait a minute. Hold on a second, dude. You brought a belly dancer to prom. You're, you're like the coolest teenager I've ever met. You want a job? So they offered me a job as a mobile DJ, which is kind of where it all started. And here we are today. But the other cool thing that came out of it was the friendship that I had with my date, Rune, who I talk to to this day. Now, I haven't seen Rune in a long time. It's probably been 15 years, long overdue, but we're in touch and one of these days we're going to get back together. She kind of went into the, I guess, broadcasting field as well. So we have something in common. She actually ended up getting a doctor degree in, in communication. So there's my story. That's a memorable gig for you. And let's see what you've got. Top it. Practice and enjoy.